what's up there crew let me know let me know if you can see me let me know if you can hear me trying something new today so you guys let me know if you can see me let me know if you can hear me because I have no clue honestly if this is going to work or not today we are going to find out the hard way. Sounds good, looks good. Can see in here. Awesome. So what we got going on is, what's up Wayne, what's up Mark, what's up Cassandra, what's up Nancy, what's up Barb, Jerry, Jay, Dan, Wayne, Richard, how are you? Eric, Stella, Michael, Connie, Mark, Deborah. What's going on everybody? So here's the deal today. Here's the deal today. We have a few different things that we got going on, okay? A few different things we got going on. I am going to be working in Corel Draw here as well as far as to do a few things. And we are going to make a few different things today and a little bit different, all right? A little bit different. So what I mean by a little bit different is let me grab them and show you real quick. So, we are going to do some brick heat transfer vinyl on this shirt here. Thank you. We are going to do some brick on a pair of shorts. We are going to do some reflective on a shirt and reflective on another shirt. So, a bunch of different things that we got going on bunch of different things we got going on. Now, what I need to do real quick is I need to hop on to Facebook to get the Facebook crew over here, right? So let me hop on Facebook here and let them know that we're live as well. So how many of you guys, just a heads up, how many of you guys were on Sean's webinar last night? For the, for the debacle. So what happened last night is Sean, in the middle of his webinar, got the blue screen of death. So that's never a good thing. And so he is, I'm not sure if you saw already, but he did reschedule it, okay? So he rescheduled it for Saturday, all right? So on Saturday... You guys are going to get that training from the start again. Okay? So you should be good to go. So you basically got a free 45 minutes or whatever you got, got into it. All right. We are live using brick and reflective HTV for our projects today. Come join the fun. We're going to have fun, right? All right. So let me get this up here so we can get our Facebook crew here. One thing I do need to do is I need to take off. There we go. Let's go on to Do Not Disturb. All right. Here we go. Yeah. That wasn't good. So... I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the picture Sean sent of the blue screen of death. Never a good thing, right? Never a good thing. So here's the deal. I am going to, like I said, make, and then I'm going to show you a couple of different tips and tricks with the heat press as well that I like to use, especially, and let me show you here, with, for example, a shirt like this one here. So with this Nike Pro shirt here, what a lot of you guys notice, and what's up Facebook, how are you guys? What a lot of you guys will notice with shirts like this is they have these seams down the back of them. And if you're using a really thin vinyl, how many of you have run into issues with these seams? A lot of us, right? You run into issues with these seams because 
of it pressing through to the back side if you don't thread it on your heat press. So the fix to that and what I like to do to fix is I like to just use a homemade pressing pad, we'll call it. And we'll get to that here in a little bit. So what I'm also going to be using today is I'm going to be using a new material that we are hoping to have hopefully by the end of next week. Not available yet, and you guys kind of know about it, but um, I'm going to press that as well just to show you something pretty cool with that too, okay? And it's just color-wise. So first thing we need to do, I need to get Facebook over here. Now, again, I'm hoping, hoping today goes well because this is the first day I've set up on the new computer. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm assuming I'll get to, I haven't even done a test cut yet with the new computer, so I don't even know if the cutter's set up right. <laughs> There's only one way to find out, right? All right, so let's head over to Corel Draw here. And yes, we do have a few different new mini packs as well. Yes, we do. And I'll show you. Finishing off some dog packs, and then I have a, a super Facebook. I'm going to get you guys. Facebook, I'm not going to be able to see your comments now. Facebook, make sure to head over to YouTube. That's where our magic number is. Okay, so here's what we're giving away today. We are going to give away, if we get to 500, we're going to give away, that person is going to win a mini pack, five feet of reflective berry blast, and five feet of reflective gold blast plus a mini pack. So big winner for the 500. And then if we get to 300, it's going to be five feet of the reflective and then a mini pack as well. All right. So I'm here in, within Corel Draw. What's up, big Eric Campbell? How you doing, buddy? And I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to find, I got to find this file first. So I got to see where I saved this thing and we are going to do we're going to do the bullpen logo and I am going to do the first one in a black brick okay so let's see I think I saved it as BP oh here we go BP CDR what's up Tan you how are you and let's see where I saved this. Oh, I see where I saved it. Saved it right up here on top. So I, I saved it on top with the explanation point so I could find it. And then it made it so I couldn't find it, right? So I'm going to go and search brick here. I'm not going to lie. One of the hardest things is getting used to this keyboard. This keyboard's crazy. All right, so be pretty brick. Let's do this. So with the brick heat transfer vinyl, how many of you guys here, and I'm going to show it to you here, how many of you here have used the brick before? Does the berry blast shrink? I have someone pickering with the glitter. Um, the berry blast, no, it doesn't. I mean, unless you do like a big long press and go for a second color that's super, super close. Thanks again for the calculator. I'm actually making money. That's what I'm talking about, Matt Denny. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to cut this at about three inches. Okay, my first cut, my first cut here with my brick is I'm going to cut it at about three inches. So what I need to do, I have my design here and... I have it set for about three inches, so that's obviously what I cut it at last time. The brick is an awesome material, and you guys know, I'm, we're basically using my two favorite materials here today, brick and reflective. So the biggest thing with the brick, I did the vinyl overcut here, so when I come over here to launch and cut plot CM4, I have my cutter on over here, and I just need to hopefully, I'm hoping that Cutting Master 4 is set up and ready to cut. So I'm going to come over here. Okay, 
So we're going to roll with a, we'll probably go, yeah, we'll probably go about that. We'll go a force of 25. Now, one thing I do like to do when I'm using the brick heat transfer vinyl is it is a thicker material, right? So how many of you, when you're using the brick, adjust? So you guys know I very, very, very rarely adjust my blade, okay? Very rarely adjust my blade. The only time I ever, and I'm going to grab it here to show you. The only time I ever really take off my blade and crank it out a little bit more is when I'm using the brick heat transfer vinyl because it is a little bit thicker, right? So I'm going to stick with a 45 degree blade, but I am going to bring the blade out a little bit more so I'm gonna give it about a half twist all right and then let's get it loaded back in here all right so now that I have that I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna head over here and load our material in so let me grab this one here for all of you Facebookers so Facebook you guys are gonna make the trip over here and flip around. All right, there you go, Facebook. And let me swap you guys around to the production cameras. All right. So first thing we need to do, obviously, we need to load the material. I think I should be able to get away with this, okay? I think I should be able to get away with this as far as um, size wise because again we only went about three inches on this design so I am going to load my material in move my pinch rollers a tad bit that looks pretty good there drop it down and hit one we do need more likes let's go hit the like button oh still saying I need to load media because of the backside I didn't have it covered the the sensor in the back wasn't covered. So I need to get that deep enough back there to cover that back sensor. And there, good. So, I see what it's doing. Um, what's the cut setting for the brick for the Cameo 3, Nicole? It really depends on the Cameo 3. The biggest thing is you might have to do a double cut. Okay, you might have to do a double cut in the Cameo 3. And the only reason I say that is because you, it, it is a thicker material. And knowing your, yeah, it's not getting to that back. I could throw a piece of tape around it. But what I'm actually going to do is just grab the brick over here. So you probably want to go to your full force and with your full force still even with that you're going to probably do a double cut just depending on and you probably i'm guessing most of you if you have the brick you have the 600 micron brick which is the newer matt when we ask a question does it count as a spam later of course not wayne and if i don't see your question just keep asking you guys know all right, I'm going to feed this up a little bit, and we're going to cut a few of these anyway, so it's probably better that we're on this larger one. So I know on this first shirt that I'm going to make, I'm going to do this Nike Pro shirt. It has the Nike swo the black Nike swoosh, so the black brick is going to look awesome on this one. All right? Why didn't you just... I know, I got my cutting mat over here. Yes, and I'll use that. So... I'm going to come back over here. Now, again, I have a force of 25 set on this one. But also remember, oh, sweet, the cutter is set up. Also remember, this is an old blade, okay? This is an old blade. So with this old blade, the biggest thing is I had to bump my force up a little bit. So normally, I'm probably about a force of 20. All right, 
Good to go with that. I'm going to hit one to bring this out. And I'm just going to cut one of them right now just to show you guys. Let's trim this off and trim that there. So when it comes to weeding this, all right, and you guys can both see Facebook and YouTube, I'm just going to grab the edge here. A lot of people, a lot of people, when it comes to brick, they get worried as far as weeding it. Brick is probably one of my favorite materials to weed. So, because if you get it cut right, and I'll show you guys up close here on YouTube, if you cut the brick right normally, and it looks like I picked a pretty good guess for my pressure here, coming around the side there, and Facebook so you guys can see as well. And there. Now I just need my little inside cavities here. And it's actually not even an inside cavity. I could have weeded it all in one. And then the only thing I have left are inside my little bases here. So I'm going to pull out home plate, third base, first base, and second. And there we go. Now, it always looks a little bit different here because it's kind of a cloudy carrier sheet. So when you look at it at the front, you're like, oh, why does that part look a little bit different? Just because it's off the carrier sheet a tiny bit, okay? So brick is heavy. That's the whole point of it. Yes, Vicki, I completely agree. Brick is a thick 3D dimension type material. And that's the point of it to be like that. That's why when you're using the brick, you don't want to create some big, huge design, right? You want to, I mean, it's great for hats. I like it for a small kind of middle chest area. That's where I think it looks good. Um, the blade I'm using, Terry, is our TRW clean cut blade, which is this one right here on the website, the 45 degree AGTK 45. Um, does it have texture? No, no, no. It doesn't have texture like brick. It is a matte finish. It is a matte finish. The only reason they say brick, they just named it brick because of kind of the dimension of it and the 3D look to it. So that's correct. It does not have any type. It's just a, a smooth matte finish on the top of it. Okay. It does look cool on a sweatshirt. I did try to go too big with it. Yes, Vicky. If you go way too big with it, it does. It does. It, it's almost like a bulletproof vest, right? All right. So that's good there. And I'm trying to think of how many shirts we're going to make with brick today. So I'm going to do this one with the black brick. I'm going to do a pair of shorts for Jackson with the black brick. <clears throat> so on this pair of shorts, where do you guys think, where would you guess that I'm going to put, where would you guess that I'm going to put the, the logo on this pair of shorts here? Give me a guess. What's up, Betty? How are you? What's up, Unique? What's up, Free? How are you? And by the way, we need to get this thing sharing. Let's go. 180 of us here. We need to get going. Let's get it in the groups. Most of us are going to say the bottom of the leg right here, right? And you're going to pick a side. Because that's what most people do, right? They go kind of bottom left edge, bottom right edge, right, on each of the sides. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I see left leg, bottom, bottom left, side below the stripes, bottom leg, bottom leg, front lower left, front lower left, hip bone, okay, to be different. That's a good one to be different, right, to be unique. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, these shorts are pretty cool for this. See this big open area on the side of these shorts? I'm going to go logo on both sides. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller. Because when I look at this here, actually, that looks pretty good. I'm good with the three inches. See there? 
I think the three inches looks pretty good, but I'm gonna go both sides of the shorts, and I think that's gonna look pretty sweet. So, basically what I need to do is I need to cut one, two, I need three total of this, all right? So I'm gonna go two to bring it back to position. And I'm just gonna cut here because I know I'll be able to easily cut some scraps in a little bit. So I'm gonna come back over to the software here and I'm just gonna add a second one. That way I can cut two. So just basically duplicating it. And then I'm going to go to launch and cut plot CM forward. I know you guys can't see it right now, but that's fine. And let me rotate. Good there. Again, my force is at 25 and send. All right, my heat press is still heating up. I'm at 250. We're getting close. Who knows the new stuff I'm going to try today? Who can guess? And again, I'm telling you guys right now, <clears throat> the brick, a lot of you guys, you guys are smart. You're starting to catch on to me. I like it. A lot of you guys saw that I was doing brick and reflective. You guys saw that I was doing brick and reflective for the training today. And a lot of you guys are thinking ahead of time because you're like, when, when we do these trainings, it gives us ideas and then we want to go get some. And we are, I'm telling you right now, you still get the 10% off, right? With the sale that we have going on, on all of the materials. But the black brick is almost completely out. The red brick might be out. We have some white left. We have some green left. We have some yellow left. The silver reflective just sold out yesterday. And it was crazy because we saw when all of the orders started coming in was when we announced that we were doing this live today. So just make sure if you want some, especially my favorite is the black brick and the white brick. I love, probably my favorite of any of them is the white brick. All right, so I'm going to hit one. Trim this out quick. And the reason I'm not worried about any of this is I can, um, can you cut the brick on the cricket? Yeah, you can. Just again, probably, probably going to be doing a double cut. But I'm not worried about any of this stuff because the cutting mat. Is the cost of that amazing cutter over? No, Life with Amanda. This cutter right here is $12.95 for the 15-inch version. But anybody, I'm telling you guys right now, and let me, Facebook, let me get you guys back a little bit so you can kind of see me as well. Anybody that's looking for a vinyl cutter right now, right now, is the time for a graph tech because graph tech is running their they do this normally once a year but normally they only do it for a hundred dollars okay i'm just think my guess and i don't know this for sure is with everything that's going on like every business they're looking to get sales and look how easy that was to weed that was insane but they're looking to get sales right now and they, I don't know that I've ever seen them do a $150 mail-in rebate before. I've seen them do a hundred. I don't think I've ever seen them do a $150 mail-in rebate. So basically right now with a graph tech on our website, with a graph tech on our website right now, you'll get an extra year warranty through graph tech. You'll get a $150 mail-in rebate. You'll also get free shipping and five mini packs of choice. It's well better than our Black Friday deal. And mainly because Graph Tech is doing the special. 
It's a sweet deal. Yes, don't forget to like as well. Where are we at with likes? We're at 143 likes. Remember, every 100 likes is another mini pack giveaway. So, the 20 this is this is the small version. I rec I recommend the 24 inch version because the 24 inch version I would have had to cut this material down and I did to get that width. The 24 inch version, you're never going to have to cut your material down again. It's normally $18.95. You get $150 mail in rebate. You get free shipping. You get the five mini packs and you get an extra year warranty. And you, anybody that has a cameo or a graph tech, I'm sorry, a cameo or a cricket or any type of stepper motor, you will, I guarantee you will not regret it. Does anybody here, can you layer brick on top of brick? I have, and it looks awesome. Does anybody here, or has anybody here, bought a graph tech, and they went, they upgraded from a Cameo or a Cricut, or even a, um, like a US cutter or something like a stepper motor, that got, a, got into a graph tech and weren't happy with it or didn't like it or didn't see it as a big change. I'm guessing, honestly, my guess would be 100% of you say the graph tech was a huge difference. And the only way you would say it isn't is if you were intimidated by it and you were scared to use it and you just didn't use it yet, which if that's the case, you better let me know so we can use it. All right, so we're at 290. We're almost up to heat here, so I think we're about good to go. So, like I said, I'm also going to get you guys a few tricks here as well today. This is going to save you some money. One thing I love to do is save you money, if possible. All right, I'm going to get this one here. And you guys, Facebook are going to come down at this angle here. You can see pretty good. Yep, Facebook, you can see good. YouTube, you guys are good. And let me get the questions rotated here. Started with Cricut, bought the graph tech from you and love it. Awesome, Heather. I got to take the plunge. You do. I'm, I'm, here's the big, one of, honestly, and uh, Facebook, I know you guys can't see me, but I know you can hear me. What's up, Siobhan? How are you? Good to see you. Um, Facebook, remember, we're on YouTube for the main cameras, okay? Um, the biggest thing, I, and one of the biggest reasons why I recommend the Graph Tech is it's my favorite. But not only that, a lot of people look at it like, wow, it's faster. Wow, it's quieter, which... That's great. It helps, but that's not the huge difference. Where it really saves you time and money, and I think a lot of you will agree with me on this, where it really saves you time and money is because it cuts so much cleaner and it cuts so much better. Number one, you're going to weed everything a lot faster. Have you guys noticed that? Because it cuts so much nicer, you're not having as many areas pull up. That's one thing. And number two, you aren't going to waste as much material on bad cuts. Because a lot of us with the Cameo and the Cricut, we might run into those issues, right? Now you aren't going to run into those issues anymore because you're not going to get nearly as many miscuts. So it's going to save you all of that money. And it's super user-friendly. Heck yes, it is. All right, so loading now again. You guys know I... I love these Nike Pro shirts, so I'm making myself a shirt today, and I figured I would just pop on with you guys because even though I'm making a shirt with my little logo here, you guys can use this method, right, for whatever you want. So super popular with baseball coaches and, and football coaches and, and anybody, right? Everybody's doing this kind of small front chest area. Now, 
This is my brick, okay? So the biggest thing about the brick is, see these two lines I was talking about earlier? The issue with these lines, what's the difference between this E6000 and 7000? Uh, the 7000 is said to be a little bit quicker. I don't notice a huge difference. The biggest thing is the, they, there's kind of a channel in front for when you're ever doing perf cutting or some different cuts so it doesn't wear down your blade as much. So it is an upgrade. For the $100 difference, as your business grows, you'll make up that $100 difference. But the 6000 is what I'm using here, so it's an amazing cutter as well, okay? Um, and I can't, it's hard for me to see the questions because they're pretty far over there right now, but I'll hop back in a minute after we get this. But first thing we need to do is I bought the graph tech before ever trying to crick it, go big or go home. That's what I'm talking about, Alicia. So I need to, I'm going to pull this out just for a second. So, oh, I have it over here. Sorry. Let's see, are you guys still good? Yep. These seams right here aren't really going to cause an issue with my brick. But if I were using easy weed or a thinner material, that's going to cause big issues. So it might still give a little bit of kind of a dent with my brick. So this is what I use right here. And keep in mind, guys, we sell the pillows, okay? I would make money if I pushed a pillow on you and said, use a pillow, you have to use a pillow, and so on. This right here is amazing. You guys know what this is, right? All it is is a piece of Elmer foam board. I mean, I even have coupon codes written on the back of it. It's a piece of Elmer foam board. And I'll show you. I have a couple other ones in here as well, I think. And I have all different sizes of them. And Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to thread it in the shirt here and pick my spot of where I'm going to press. And that takes away those seams right there. Okay? The brick, the key to the brick and cutting the brick, um, who was asking that? Denise. The key to the brick and cutting the brick, I'm telling you, it is... Because I have that raised up, i got to switch around my, uh, my pressure a little bit. The key is, obviously, getting that blade out a little bit more so it gets all the way through it, okay? Because the more you double cut and triple cut and so on, it makes it difficult, right? So I'm looking here, and I want this actually above my armpits. I want a little bit higher on the shirt. So I'm going to go right about there. And I know that's going to be a pretty good height on this shirt right here. I want it a little bit closer to the collar. Okay? So, once I'm there, I have that lined up. I'm going to line up my actual brick. And that looks amazing there. And looks good to go. So, I'm good with this. Let's go ahead looking at my left edge, looking at my right edge, the diamond basically pointing straight forward. So I'm looking good. So I'm going to come down. Now with the brick, I'm at 20 seconds for the brick heat transfer vinyl. So I had it set on 14. I'm going to hold it down for a few extra seconds to make sure. <coughs> and then the other thing with the brick is... It is a cold peel, so I'm just going to set this off to the side for right now. And then I'm going to get, yes, these will a little, I've probably used this one 40 or 50 times. It does start to melt a little bit over time, but by the time you use it 30, 40, 50 times, right, you have what? You pay $2 for the board and you can cut 50 of these out of it. You got a, a half of a penny in cost. So that's the biggest thing, just thinking of that. Now, I'm going to go with my pair of shorts here. So with my shorts, same thing. Hang them off the side here. And this is honestly one of the reasons 
why I really do not like the cover. How many of you guys have the pads, the protective pad on this side? Do any of you guys here have the pad on this side to protect your, your um, pad here? Like that protective cover sheet that wraps around? And again, we sell those as well, right? But the reason why I'm not a huge fan of them is because I do so many different things. I don't like how the shirt and everything all shifts around and slides around, okay? I like to be able to put a half of a pair of shorts on here and it not slide off and fall down. So what I'm going to do, same thing. I'm going to split the difference from the top and the bottom, and I'm going right into the corner of this seam right here. All right, so that looks good there. Let's give a quick little pre-press. Um, the temperature, you want to be around 300. I'm at, what's it at, 307 right now. You want to be around three, 320, I think, is the recommended. So I normally go around 310. So again, just kind of splitting the difference. Cool thing is, is they're not ever going to see both sides at the same time, right? And that looks pretty good to me. And I'm going to go a little bit lower. I like that right there. Beautiful. Straight up, straight up that line. And drop this down. Yeah, they slide, off the te they slide off that sheet, don't they? That's the reason why I'm not a huge fan of that, for that exact reason. Because I'm always doing different weird sleeves and all types of stuff, right? All right, that one's good there. Let's go ahead, and I'm just going to flip this over, let that cool on that side, and I'm going to do this side. Same thing, right? So, see how it's not sliding off? Grab that there. That looks good. Grab another piece of my brick here. And very, very minimal cost, right, in our brick heat transfer vinyl with this small three-inch logo. That looks good to me there and press. Um, what are your thoughts on the BN20? <sighs> it's, does any, here, let's try this first. Does anybody here have a BN20 and what are your thoughts on it? I want to try and get feedback from others before I, um, my main thought, let me get that off the side, kind of stuck to the side there a little bit. My main thing with the BN20 is if you can afford even a 30-inch VersaCam, 100% go for that. And that's what, that's what we use. I'm going to bring you guys over here, Facebook. Bring you over here, YouTube. And now I'll start to be able to see some of your questions again. Why is there heat tape on the foam board? Um, Dale, there's heat tape on the foam board because... I wanted to mark, and obviously I kind of ruined the whole plan of that once I did this, but I wanted to mark that this is a four inch by four inch, and I didn't want the Sharpie ink to get on the shirt, so I taped over it. That way the ink couldn't get on the shirt. I see, uh, no, okay, the best person possibly in the world here, who, who is asking? Um, Sonia, Irv, who commented about six under you. Irv is the, the VersaCam specialist. He is Mr. VersaCam. Anytime I have an issue with our VersaCam, Irv is who we contact. He takes these things apart for a living. He services them for a living. Like He knows anything and everything about the VersaCams. Herb said no, no, no. There you go. All right. No, no, no. So when I come over here, I'm going to take my edge here, peel this off, and we are done. 
And I'm going to show you guys up close here. Can you guys see the dimension in the brick here? You guys see that? And I'll show you guys as well, Facebook. Yes, the BN20s are, from everything I've heard, the BN20s are going away. There's only one reason why they would go away, right? Because probably some issues. What's the one thing now, everybody here, you guys see this, right? What's the one thing that you do not see? And I'm going with YouTube first. What's the one thing you do not see? Facebook, what's the one thing on this you do not see? You know what you don't see? And a lot of people were saying it, is you don't see a square around it because I made sure that my pressure, what if, if you put way too much pressure on it, you might get that square around it, but I didn't put a lot of pressure around it, and that's why you aren't seeing any of that square, okay? All right, so that is beautiful. Love my new shirt. Oh, that looks awesome. How many of you just, I know it's, it might be me particular that's about this, but how many of you guys here love the small, and you guys know what I'm talking about, every single Major League Baseball team, every single NFL team, all the basketball, everything. A lot of the shirts that the actual players will wear under their uniform in baseball and football and everything, this is what it's like, a nice small logo, right? It's by far my favorite look to a shirt. I could have made a big, huge logo here. I think it just... It doesn't look nearly as good. This looks so much nicer and cleaner to me, right? Lorraine brought me a Starbucks. All right. Good with that one. Let's grab Jackson's shorts. So, shorts. Pull here. Boom. Flip to this side, pull here, and boom. And I saw, remember when it got stuck under the press there? I saw that edge. I see a little bit of that edge coming up because I wasn't to the full time in temperature. So I'm actually going to bring this back over here just for a second. And I'll flip you guys around so you can, or I'll flip you guys up here so you can see where I am. Facebook. Can you guys see me over here, YouTube? Yeah. So I'm going to flip you guys around here, and I'm just going to come. And sometimes if I look at it and I see it, I always, I prefer off the start, I prefer to underpress. I prefer to underpress. So I saw when that one stuck there and I ripped it up quick, what actually happened is it's not that, yep, that's perfect now. It's not that it didn't press right. It's that this is, this is an actual cold peel, right? So because this is a cold peel, when it stuck to the top and I pulled it quick, it released some of the carrier sheet, which that brick hadn't adhered fully yet and pulled a little bit of it up. Doesn't ruin it, right? I just came back and hit it for those few extra seconds. But, man, I'll tell you what. And if you just put your hand against it, it'll kind of cool it down. And let me show you guys what this final pair of shorts looks like. I like these. So... These are them here, but then you can see we got the logo on the side there and the logo on the side there. And I honestly, I love this look. Yes, you're using a little bit more material. Yes, there's a little bit more time involved, 
But now, especially, I mean, imagine if it's a team logo or something. Now when they wear the shorts, you can see the logo on both sides, right? So it's pretty sweet doing the, and that's the other thing is remember, not every pair of shorts, it's, doesn't it look like, and these are badger shorts just to let you know, doesn't it look like they basically made these shorts for the logo to go there? The way that the seams open out to the sides there? It basically looks like that's what they tried to do, right? So, pretty sweet. All right. So, good with that. Good with mine. Now... I think we're done with the brick. Let me see. I got a white. I got a black. Yes. So, this is the shirt we're going to do, the next one, to go with Jackson's right there. So, he's got white shorts with black, with the black bullpen logo. Most of you are probably thinking, I'm going to go straight to white brick, which I probably should so the, almost like the materials match as well. That would make sense. But can you use brick with a basic home iron? Yeah, you should be able to use brick. I mean, especially I, I've done the brick with the Cricut Easy Press, and it worked perfect. So a little bit harder with the time and temperature. What I would do with the home iron is start on the front side, then turn it inside out, and hit the back side so you hit that exact adhesive, right? All right, so... By the way, we're at 267 live on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, get over to YouTube because if we get to 300 live on YouTube, then we're going to give away five feet of reflective heat transfer vinyl and a mini pack for that winter, plus our normal likes mini packs. And if we get to 500, that winner is going to get five feet of berry blast, five feet of gold blast, and a mini pack. So at Facebook, if you're here and not on YouTube, get over to YouTube. So here's what I'm going to use on this one. I, I thought about the tone on tone as well, and I probably would have done the tone on tone had there not been a white. I just, <laughs> anybody notice what I just did there? I'm holding this. <laughs> I'm holding this and look how look how I'm pointing at the Nike swoosh. I'm I'm like this. Check this out right here. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to flick you all off. I like all of you guys. Okay? So I'm gonna point with my index finger. There you go. <laughs> So, I'm actually going to use, and again, don't get excited yet. Don't get excited yet, because I've tested about five different ones, but I am going to use our, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? You guys let me know what you think it is. <laughs> that was... Daniel, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I'm going to cut. I want to cut this perfect. So, and I'll show you guys just, just so you guys can see my amazing cutting mat. So, I've got my cutting mat here. And I am going to... Cut this bad boy down. I like this because it's 24 inches. And remember, we're only going to do about a 3-inch decal. So we're about right there. I think I got it. Oh, I went width-wise. So I went to a spot that it was even longer than 20 inches. There we go. And now we got a perfect cut on that. 
All right, so what the, yes, R&R, yes, Jenny, yes, Beth and Deb, you guys got it, you guys got it. So you guys know that I will never sell anything to you guys until I put it through basically the mat test. And the mat test, it, it isn't easy to pass, all right? So I actually have a shirt that I made, and I, like I said, I've had about five different, about five different reflectives that of different places and different manufacturers that I've brought in from overseas and wherever. And as of right now, this is the best one that I found, okay? So I am going, so this is going to be a TRW reflective, a new TRW reflective color, all right? But the biggest thing is what I always look for I don't only, because what a lot of people will look for on a reflective or, or any type of heat transfer vinyl, they pay attention to how long it lasts on a shirt, which is obviously important, right? How long it lasts on a shirt is very, very important, especially for you guys. But what, what else is super important other than just how long it's going to last on the shirt? What do you guys think? Not always, like how long it lasts, yes, because then your customers are going to come complaining to you, right? So you need it to last on the shirt, which it does, okay? The shirt that I made with this, and believe me, three of the five of them, the material peeled off after about five washes. This one, I'm about 25 to 30 washes in, and it's still perfect. And it has a super, super awesome feel to it, too, okay? So, exactly, cutability, weeding right? If it cuts like crap, if it weeds like crap, then it's crap, right? So that's another big thing. If you can't cut it, if you can't weed it, then in my opinion, you can't use it because, see, I'm taking the blade out and bringing it back to my original setting so it's not at, not at the um, brick setting. And then I got to do a quick little pre-test cut. Um, <laughs> what blend of shirt is the best? More or less polyester? Uh, it's really a preference, David. I mean, as far as the material, you can cut the material on any of those. That's what's so nice about the um, different heat transfer vinyls. So that isn't a factor. It's just a matter of what your customer likes, what you like as far as types of shirts you can't cut crap um, so right now we our TRW reflective colors right now we have the gold blast the berry blast and then we have the um, the easy reflect silver that we use as well right I'm hoping to get about five or so colors in of the different reflectives. Five more, okay? Um, like, a, like a black is one, white is one, um, bl blue, red, yellow, some neons. I might, might have a chance of getting like 10 colors in, which is going to be super sweet if that's the case. Because the reflective is just... It's freaking amazing. Like, who doesn't want to wear a shirt? Like, everybody wears a shirt because it's stylish, right? You buy a shirt from this place because people see a logo. You buy a shirt here because the design's cool, you, right? But a reflective shirt makes a good design look even better. Does everybody agree? Because it looks normal, it feels normal, but then when the light hit it, it's like... It just pops, and especially for your business, for advertising, for logos, for sports teams, for churches, for schools, whatever, right? So what I'm going to do here, I have this set at a speed of 30, a force of 14. I'm going to do a quick cut test. And let's hit my arrow. I got a 
I'm going to set my force. And let's see what we got here. So at a force of 14, not quite enough, okay? Not quite enough. So I'm going to bring this back. And let's go enter, cancel, and I'm going to move my force now. I'm going to hit four. I know you can't see this. I'm going to go, I hit four for force. I'm going to bring my force up to, let's say, 17. So I got a force of 17 on this test cut. And let's go ahead and here. Let's go to menu. I'm going to set my origin so it doesn't cut over those same ones that I just cut. Reflective is my favorite breezy lady. You're on the same page. That's me. I'm going to go test. Force of 17. Arrow. Enter. And let's do a test cut of this. And let's see if we're better on this one. That's better, okay? So I think force of 17 is a pretty good force. And the big, you guys normally see, right? Normally you guys don't see me do, does everybody agree? You normally don't see me do test cuts a lot right? Because I normally have my settings pretty good, but because I switched to the brick and I changed my blade depth and I cranked it out some, anytime I do that, when I move to a new material, I always come back and do a quick test cut just to make sure. So I saw somebody comment and said, Matt, you never do test cuts. That's the reason why. Um, Vinyl, Debbie was saying she said one peeled after five washes at a different vinyl. Yes, yes, that was a different. So basically, yes, Valerie, um, what happened is anytime I bring in new materials or look at new materials or have our manufacturer do new materials or whatever it is, I'll always do wash tests and I'll always make sure it's for myself or Loreen or the kids or whatever and test them because I know that we're going to put them in the washer, we're going to put them in the dryer and so on. So basically, I've tested about five different reflectives. Some don't reflect as much. Some are harder to weed. Some this. Not this, but the other ones, three of the other ones were peeling after. So as soon as they start peeling, they're ruled out. So those that I was talking about that were peeling after five washes, we would never carry on the website. Okay? This is the one that I'm 30 washes in on and it's still freaking perfect. All right, so let's bring this back, and we are going to go and get a couple cuts here. All right, good to go. So around force of 17-ish is what we're going to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I, I cut widthwise last time. I'm going to rotate it and cut vertical. So... Once I rotate it and cut it vertical, then I'm going to be able to do, even though I only need to do one of them, I know I want to make a couple shirts for myself as well on a black shirt. So I'm going to cut like two or three of them. So all I'm doing now is heading back over to the software and I'm going to cut them at that same size. Okay. Same size as what I did before. And I'm going to rotate that around. And I just need to change my force down to that 17. And let's send this. And I should be fine width-wise here. Oh, 100%. The biggest thing, and a lot, of, a lot of you guys know, when I, if I see something that looks good, the way I look at it is anything that, that I sell on my website I'm putting my name behind it, right? So if it sucks, you're coming to me and saying it sucks, right? So that's why I don't, like, I get excited when I see new things. Believe me, do you know how long I tested those bling sheets before I even told you guys about them, right? So these guys here, do you know how long I tested these before I even mentioned them? 
because I didn't know if they were going to work. And put them on a car and put them on different things like this, put them on the dog bowl. I tested these things for a couple months before I even mentioned them to you guys. Again, because I don't want to say something and then it suck and then it never releases and you're like, Matt, what happened to that? Right? So, good to go with that. Let's go ahead and unlock this bad boy. And I've never cut... Oh, I don't have my light board plugged in. I unplugged it. Dang it. I was arranging everything around for the new setup. And I haven't got all of my, um, all my cords set up. So I didn't get my light board set back up yet. All right, but let's go ahead and weed this. Got my pick tool here. Got my bling black sheet yesterday. Nice. All right, so let's pull here and see. Oh, yeah. I think we're good. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. We're going to be good with this. Now, when I get to these smaller areas where it goes inside, I'm trying to rip it off because I want to make sure when I'm weeding it, just knowing that this is my first cut, that it's going to hit those inside areas good. So... I'm going to pull here. That looks good there. Oh, yes. This is super easy to weed. It's just coming off each of these spots with perfect cuts. Nice. All right, good with that one. Let's come over and do this one. Go old school and hold it up to the window. I love it, Beth. Oh, I remember those. Yes. <laughs> That's funny you mentioned that because I did it the other day. That's awesome. All right, let's get my little inside areas here. And it's a nice sunny day out here as well, so it would probably be perfect. The CE 6000, they don't sell anymore. So the CE 6000s are done. GraphTech doesn't sell them anymore. So any that you would see are just um, places trying to get rid of their inventory because they don't produce them anymore. The CE 7000s are it. Did we hit 300? 300 likes, though? Did we hit 300? Oh, man, we got 211 likes. So we hit the 300, which is good. So we're going to have the reflective giveaway for the five feet. If we hit 500, then we'll give away 10 more feet. But we got to get those likes up. Why do we only have 211 likes? All right, so this looks good here. Now, with this material, I'm going to bring it over here to the press. With this reflective, all right, it is going to be, let me bring you guys over here to Facebook. Scoot you up a little bit. And Facebook, you guys better be on YouTube, right? Because we need a few more over there. Let's go. There we go, YouTube. All right, let me grab this here. So I want to be around 300 degrees, and you're going to go about eight seconds with a hot peel on this. All right, so I'm going to grab Jackson's shirt here. Now, I don't have any seams, so I'm not really worried about that part on his. I have the Nike logo there, which is kind of a pain in the butt just because of the location of it, but... There's not much you can do about that. Now, I'm having to adjust my pressure again because I'm not using, I don't have to use the, um, the board on this one or the, um, 
the foam board, right? So did my pre-press, let's come here. Again, I'm putting it up pretty high on the shirt, especially on a youth shirt, because look, armpits are way up there, right? So I'm fine with it being next to the Nike logo. I don't have a problem with that because all the Nike logos are in that location most of the time now. So looking up here, I'm going to say that there looks pretty good. Got it nice up and top, armpits there. So it's pretty much going across the middle of where his chest is right there, right? But what I would not recommend, I saw someone say, right chest, it doesn't look good. I've tried it before. It just doesn't look good, okay? So I always still like to go middle. So I'm going to drop this middle, looking at the left collar, looking at the right collar, and that looks amazing there. Checking any inside cavities, all looks good there. So I'm going to use a cover sheet on this one just because of my Nike logo. And I'm going to go, like I said, eight seconds. And then you'll want to let it, it's, even though it's a hot peel, let it sit for about two to three seconds. And then once you peel, what I like to do is I like to kind of roll it back. So you can see how I'm kind of rolling it back here. Looks great there. Roll it back on this side. And the reason why is just making sure time, temperature, and everything was good. That looks perfect there. And our white reflective is done now. Now, I'm going to see if I can. Let me just see if it'll show enough. Facebook, I'm going to grab you guys here. What's that, Facebook? And YouTube. I'm going to put you guys there just to see if I'm actually going to close the window here too. See if I can get it a little bit darker. There we go. So let's just see if it's kind of hard to see, but can you see how much it lit up right there? The reflective with the light on, light off test. So let me see if I can scoot it back even a little bit more, get it into a little bit darker spot. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see just because it's so light in here today. Give me one more second. I can try one more thing. Let's go put it like here and I'm going to turn off my LED lights here that'll add a little bit more darkness here so and then I'm going to let's see boom yeah you can see a little bit better there but especially when you're really close, I love the look when it's really close. It's not necessarily looks like a glitter, but look at the difference. So there, when I'm zoomed in good close, it's really awesome. So there, and look how much it brightens up now. I like that. That looks sweet. All right, let's turn my lights. Check out the lights, by the way. I put in the new strip, so switches are here when I hit all three of them. Nice. Right. All right, let me flip you guys back around. So could you at least see it a little bit there? I know it's really bright in here today. So it didn't really help a lot, but pretty sweet looking. Again, 
just a small logo on it. I'm reflecting on that now, Matt. <laughs> so basically with his, what we got is this shirt. with matching shorts. And I'm talking with a shirt in my mouth. I like it. Full outfit, baby. All right. So the white reflective, like I said, is not, is not available yet on the website, okay? Is not available yet. But should be really soon. Do you guys want to try something? You guys want to try something I've never tried before? Of course we do, right? Yes, let's do it. I got an idea. Let's open back up here. Here's what we're going to try. I'm going to cut another piece of brick, and we are going to go brick on bling anything, and then the white reflective on top of that. So it's going to be a brick reflective decal. Make sense? Let's try it. So what I need to do, let me flip you guys back Facebook here so you can see kind of cutter again. What I need to do, get my blade out, and half turn, right? So I try to, try to pay attention to how much I turn it. So if I went half turn out, then half turn back, right? So I already have the white reflective cut. So what I need to do in the software real quick and Facebook, I'll try and bring you guys over here so you can kind of see, hold on, and then I'll flip you guys around as well, YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to close this down. This was our cut, okay? So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna come over to the wizard here and let's bring in the wizard, and I'm going to go to, oh, I don't like my screen resolution with this new computer. I gotta scroll down. I need to get a better monitor. Magic Boundary. Now, with Magic Boundary, I'm just gonna create a Magic Boundary, okay? So, what I mean by that is I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna say a .2 Magic Boundary, and that's probably too thick. So let's do a 0.1 magic boundary, and that probably looks a little bit better, okay? What is bling anything? Uh-oh, Jay, you're in for a treat today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that gray area there, and I'm going to double click and get rid of this inside area, right? because I want this to all be gone, right? Because this is all gonna be the black brick. I'm gonna do black brick and then layer the white reflective on top of it. So all I need to do now is cut this. So I'm gonna come over to my templates and I'm gonna do my vinyl overcut and we'll keep it on the same page. So current page and let's do a vinyl overcut. Brick is awesome. Yes, it's got a 3D look to it. It it raises up. It's honestly it's what Under Armour and Nike and all of them are using on their hats and shirts now. What you guys will notice a, a lot of the Under Armour shirts now that have the Under Armour logo, it's like a thicker kind of rubbery type material. That's basically brick. So, good with that. I'm going to go launch and cut plot CM4. Um, yes, Carol, with that I should have. I forgot that I hadn't, Carol, what happened with that? 
The reason why I went, and I'll show you here in just a sec. Let me get this real quick. I'm going to cut this out of 25. See the open area on my B right there, Carol? I wasn't paying attention to that. I thought it was a fill. And then the magic boundary would have just done it, and I wouldn't have had to delete anything on the inside. But I love that you caught that. That means you're learning. All right, so good to go there, good to go there. Yes, um, Jay, Jay Willett, you'll see. It's awesome. Bling anything material, it changes your life. All right, so let me flip to the production camera here real quick. So we can load our brick in. And again, with the brick, I'm going to go here, load media. And I know Facebook, you can't see me right now. I know. And I think I should be good thickness-wise. If I'm going to be pretty close with my thickness and I'm a little bit worried about it, what do you think I should do? If I'm going to be a little bit worried about it, here's what I like to do. Because I'm worried it's going to be a little too close. I like to just get rid of my weed box. If you get rid of your weed box, you're saving a little bit of width, right? So good to go there, good to go there. Force of 25, let's go ahead and send. Facebook, I'm going to bring you guys over here. Let me flip you around here, Facebook. It cuts so fast, I think it's already done cutting. Did it cut? Yeah, it did. All right, grab my scissors here, trim this off, and let's see if we're good. I know, I should have test cut, but I didn't. I got my, my quarter inch turn is good. So... What I'm looking at now is I am just, oh, dang it. I forgot to switch you guys around to production. Hold on. There we go. What I'm looking at now is I'm just making sure that this lines up around it, which it lines it up perfect. Check it out. So this is going to be our brick and reflective sticker. And something I could put on the back window of a car, <coughs> which could possibly fade over time, okay? But if you're putting it on a computer laptop, if you're putting it on a tumbler, anything like that, it's going to be awesome. So I need to come over here now, find me some Bling Anything material. This is our Bling Anything material. So with our Bling Anything... I am going to find a size that I need. That looks pretty good there. And trim that off. And again, guys, I haven't done this, so it may work. It also may not. I think it will, but there's only one way to find out. That's to test it with you guys live. All right, bring you guys over here. Facebook, bring you guys back over here. And let's give this a go. So I got my black, I got my white, I got my bling anything. Always use my protective cover sheet here to sandwich it between. So shiny side, dull side. We always press to the shiny side. So shiny side, dull side. All right? Press to the shiny side. Good to go there. Drop that down. And I'm at 298 degrees right now. And I'm going to go for about 10 seconds. It's a clear material, yeah. So it, it just, you won't even see it when it's on something. Like that material basically, you're, what you can do, what Bling Anything does it, it allows you to turn any type of heat transfer vinyl into a sticker or rhinestones. And that's the big, that's where it all came up, up, around was the biggest thing that Bling Anything Material does is it makes rhinestone car decals, right? So if I pull this edge up here, 
I'm not really worried about if I get any these creases that I'm seeing right now, be, only because I know I'm trimming that off anyway. So that looks good there. Trim around this side here. Let's get around this here. And that there. Okay, so my black brick pressed on really nice. Now I need to come back with my white reflective. That's holding pretty good there. Make sure it stays in place. And then I'm going to go for my eight seconds. Brick is pretty much the thickest on the market that I've seen, yes. Okay, and again, let it cool just a little bit, even though it's a hot peel, just to make sure. And when I slowly peel this off, now with this again, I should be at about 300 degrees. I'm at 297, okay, so that's not bad. But remember, we're not pressing to a shirt anymore. We're pressing to kind of a rubbery type material. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Now all I'm going to do is trim along here. That side there. That side there. And that side there. And I have a finished brick heat transfer vinyl and reflective sticker that I could put onto a computer laptop. I could put it onto this heat press if I wanted to. I could put it on anything I want now. And this is going to look super sweet when it goes, especially in a dark area. I really need to find a kind of a dark spot to really be able to show you and see it. That's where it's going to look sweet. Um, let me try this again real quick. Yes, at, okay, so, maybe even just back here, here, down in this spot a little bit. So, let me try right there. You guys can kind of see it back there. Let me flip you guys around here, Facebook, and let's see if I zoom in and give it light. Oh, yeah, can you see? Why did it get blurry on me there? Don't get blurry. Get unblurry. Hold on. Clean it. Get out of the way, easy press. There we go. All right, so that's light on, light off. Yeah, you can definitely see a few. Look at that. Oh, that looks sweet. Boom. Huge difference. That's going to be awesome. All right. You guys will see this around. I, don't, I actually don't have any of the lights in the room on. It's just the light coming through from the outside over here. All right, good to go with that. Let's move this up. Now what we have is a reflective and brick decal. We have a pair of shorts. We have two shirts that we've done. And what I want to do for the last project here, and... I think we can do it as a giveaway. Do you guys want to do this last project as a giveaway? And I'll customize it for somebody? Of course, right? So I do need to change my blade back before I forget.
All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to, one of my favorite large packs that we have, and one that I think is awesome for you guys as well, let me turn on all these lights again, is our event pack. So with our event pack, it's good for birthdays, it's good for family reunions, it's good for all types of stuff. I'm going to show it to you over here. So here's what I'm going to do today, okay? Now, where are we at numbers-wise, by the way? We're at 413. We, got, we still got a shot at this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick out a shirt. Um, does anybody have, well, it doesn't matter. Even if you don't have someone coming up for something like this, you can just make it and you'll get it as a sample and I'm going to customize it for you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull a design out of there and probably like a wedding design because those are super, super popular. Maybe like an I do shirt or a bachelorette party or something. We're going to make it with the reflective heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to customize a date on it for one of you guys. So if someone or a name on it and then we're going to give it away. And then hopefully by the time that happens, we're at 500 live and we can do both giveaways and all of the mini pack giveaways. Sound like a plan? Yes. Sweet. All right. I like it, Nicole. I like it. <laughs> All right. So let's do that. I'm going to bring you guys back over here. We got to get the design first. We got to get the design first. So one thing that's nice and the one thing I... I love about wedding designs is what's the big benefit of a wedding design? People are always getting married, right? People are always getting married. So I'm going to show you and then here's what I'm going to do just to let you guys know. Hold on. I'm going to do it right now. Give me one second. I'm going to go discount something for you. Get that. Swap that out. Boom. Done. All right, so here's the deal. Check this out. This pack right here that I'm about to show you. This one right here. I just marked this down for today's training only, and it will expire tonight. I just marked it down. It's normally $350. I marked it down to $250, and you get 65% off of that price. So it's $100 cheaper than it was five minutes ago. Okay? So when you proceed to check out with this pack, it's basically $87. You sell 10 shirts, not even, right? You're making more than $11 a shirt. You sell six shirts and the pack pays for itself. All right, so let me show you what this pack has and then you guys will kind of get an idea of, of what it's all about. So if I go to open template and I go to my event pack, it's basically events, all right? So with the event pack, I'm going to open it up here. And I'm going to open up my CDR versions of it. And let's go ahead and show in a extra large format. So check, yes, you'll get SVGs as well. However, remember, Matt, if you don't have the wizard, the SVGs are more difficult to customize, right? So all you need is love. You got the two versions. Awesome since 1968. Obviously, all of these are completely adjustable and change with the live templates. We got Bachelor Party in Progress. We got Hendrix Family Reunion another family reunion, but all of these graphics can be swapped out, okay? Best day ever. This might be a good one to do for the shirt we're doing today. And then you put a custom date at the bottom of it for their wedding date. 
You got Bella's Bride Squad. Again, customize it to whatever you want. You got Jenna's Bride Tribe for the Bachelorette Party. But you don't have to have Bachelorette Party. You could put Last Fling Before the Ring or whatever you want. Flashlight on the phone is on. Oh, it is, isn't it? Let me... Boom. There you go. Thank you. Um, we got the camper pack with all of your camping stuff. We got the mountain pack inside there with all the mountain stuff. You can see I'm only a quarter of the way through this so far. Then we got different casino stuff. We got birthday stuff. We got 40 and Fabulous. We got family cruises. We got farewell tours. We got um, groom designs, bachelor party designs. Hitched with the date on it, honeymoon vibes. We got the I Do Crew. We got Just Married. So you can see I'm just still scrolling and all the different designs that are in this pack. So this is a full artwork pack, okay, as I go through these. So what I want to do is I'm going to do, you guys let me know, do you want to do best day ever with a custom date? Do you want to do Bella Bride Squad or do you want to do Bride Tribe? First one to five wins. So our choices are, our choices are first one to five wins and then I'll pick a winner for who we're going to do it for. So we got Bella's Bride Squad, we got Best Day Ever or Bride Tribe. Bride Squad, Best Day or Bride Tribe. First one to five and then I'm going to pick somebody here to where I'm going to make the shirt custom for you. Um, what you'll do is you'll just on the main website, so I got Bride Squad, Best Day Ever, Best Day Ever, Best Day Ever, Best Day Okay, Best Day Ever it is. There's 5, 10, 20 of them. Crazy, crazy. Okay, Best Day Ever. Boom. So I'm going to go Best Day Ever here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this on, we'll put it on a black Bella shirt, Okay. And we're going to use, I got three choices to use. We're going to use two colors. I got gold blast reflective, I have silver reflective, and I have berry blast. What do you guys think? Gold blast, berry blast, or silver, and which two combination? On a black, remember, it's going on a black shirt. So just to give us an idea, I'm going to throw it on a black background. And honestly, with our diamond here, we're probably going to want to do our diamond showing through. So I'm just going to come over here. And let's see, I got my diamond there. Shift click, back minus front. Oh, trim. And with these. And now with that there... The biggest thing is, easiest way for me to do it if it's showing up like this is to come down and I am, man, I need to get a better screen resolution. This is killing me. I'm not used to this. I'm going to do a smart fill. Boom. Good to go. I'm seeing silver and berry, silver and berry, silver and berry it is. Okay, so obviously the diamond needs to be a silver, right? And then probably the best is a uh, berry. And the berry is kind of more like a purplish, right? And then day, probably silver as well, you think? I would say so. And then best day ever, probably go back with the berry there. And then we'll go silver for our text and then berry for the hearts. How about that? I'll tell you what, whoever, and I'm going to scoot these a little bit closer together even. Whoever I pick is going to decide what color they want. How about that? So I'm going to pick right now. Get your comment in. Here we go. Top name that I highlight is going to be the winner. Top name that I highlight is going to be the winner. I'm going to pick the winner in five, four, three, two, one, 
go. Oh, well, I guess bottom name I highlight is going to be the winner. So I got Nicole Spence. Nicole Spence. Nicole, you let me know. What do you want, Nicole? Nicole, let me know if you want the wedding ring there or if you want it for an anniversary. We could just take away the ring. But again, for an anniversary, you still keep the diamond there, right? So, Nicole, let me know what colors. Do you like this color combination, Nicole? And then give me the date that you want. Nicole, I need a date from you. If you're good with the berry blast and the silver, now I just need a date. And I know it's a little delay, so I'll see it here in a minute. So the TRW templates, it depends. If it's a live template, it works much easier with the wizard. Yes, yeah, so when I hit find text, you'll see as soon as I get the date from Nicole here, then I'll be able to just click on that and type in the date. So if I wanted it as, let's say, today's date, um, just the way you made it, Barry and Silver, my daughter's be there. Um, January 24th, 2014. Okay. So twenty fourth, twenty fourteen. Now do you want Nicole? Let me know. Let me know if you want a couple things. Oh, yeah, I got to spell January right, right? Um, let me know if you want to have the 24. Do you want the 2014 there? I put an extra R in there. Give me one second. Do you want the full date, January 24, 2014? Looks good? Yeah, I know. I saw the extra R as soon as I typed it. Sweet. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, so here's the biggest thing. Here's the biggest thing is with this, okay, with this, this is what we want. We're going to go here, and I, I always like to weld them together, right? And then I'm going to go with the purples or the berry blast and weld those together. Highlight my design. I want this to be pretty big on the shirt. So I'm gonna enlarge this a little bit and go probably 8.7 by 9.9, .9. okay? 8.7 by 9.9. .9. And that's gonna be a pretty good size. It's gonna be a tall design, which is fine. That's kind of what we want with this one. So now that we have that, is this pack in the fonts pack uh, a CDR for, um, you can get the S, you'll get all the fonts as well. It's a, you can get SVG versions of it as well. Okay. Yeah. January 24, 2014. That's right. Correct. I think, I think that's what Nicole typed. I'm, sw I'm trying to scroll back through the comments here just to make sure. Yeah. January 24th, 2014 daughter's birthday. Okay. So now that I have this. I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to come over to my templates, and I'm going to do a vinyl overcut. And thank goodness it did this. So how many of you, how many of you have ever done this where the letters or it'll kind of swap it out to the side? What do you think? Um, do you want, I don't know, Karen, is that right? I just saw Karen, do I, is it January 24, 2014 or 24th? 
I type 24th. I don't know. Do I need the TH or not? 24, not 24th. All right. Let's fix that. See? Now you guys know why I wasn't an English teacher. All right. Coming back here. I got to go back to it. Now what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just control Z back to where before I welded it together. You guys see that? Yes. So now once I get back to that spot, There you go, right? And we'll throw the comma in there as well. Perfect. Oh, I got to have it selected. So find text, boom, and I'm going to add that comma in there. Beautiful. All right, so now that we have it, again, even though I don't have to weld them together, I like to weld them together just in case there's any weird cuts or anything in there, okay? So I just welded both of those together. But what I was talking about with when you bring that out and that design and it separates like that, what you're going to do is just open up a new page. Make sure it's within your workspace there, okay? Because if I went to templates now and did a vinyl overcut, now it's going to hit it perfect, Got it? Um, a decal. Do you want to do a decal? But you won't be able to do the reflective because it's going to, um, the reflective, once it gets out, if you put it on a car window, the reflective is going to fade. So let me know, Nicole, so I know size-wise. And because... Because this design is so open, Nicole, because this design is so open, the bling anything is going to be, there's going to be too much bling anything. Does that make sense? To where you're going to see those press marks. So let me know. That's where it's going to be difficult. You, see, you know what I'm saying?
All right, can you guys hear me now? All right. He's getting batteries, yes. Got batteries now. We should be good. We should be good. All right, I'm going to flip you guys back around here. Facebook, I'm going to bring you guys over as well. So you will just see for a minute here. You're going to see the cutter. And let me flip you guys back around as well. YouTube, loud and clear. Nice, nice, nice. Get you guys over to the production screen. And I know I have a lot of inside areas here. You know what? I'm going to look. I'll bring you guys back so you can see. I'm going to do the save material job. Okay? It's going to be extra work on the press, as you guys know. But look at the amount of material it's going to save me. So we're going to do it. How many of you guys would save your material here? So now look at the difference in the amount of material that I'm using. A lot less. Almost half. Almost half the material, right? So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to come over here to launch and cut plot CM4. My silver glitter is loaded up, so I'm good to go with that. And I am going to come over now, and I got to make sure my force is down to, I'm going to go around 18 for my force, speed of about 30. So I'm going to cut this actually pretty slow. Let me flip you guys back over to the production cameras here and hit send. I see most of you saying, yes, I would save the material as well. It's all, there's different times where it's good to save the material, then there's also times where it's not as good because it's going to take you a lot longer to make the shirt because the pressing can take so much longer, right? So I get, need to get my berry blast out as well here. Nicole, real quick, Nicole, before I cut it, do you want berry blast or do you want the gold blast for the other color? It's going on a black shirt. Let me know if you see it, Nicole, before I start cutting. I think we said berry off the start. So I'm going to hit one to view. And again, this is where I was saying you run into the issue with the 15-inch version of the cutter because obviously it's only to there, right? Larger orders, I wouldn't do it. Berry, berry, got it. Berry, berry. All right, so silver's good. Let's unload this. And let's load our berry in. Again, 20-inch wide material. It allows me to feed it but it doesn't allow me to cut all the way to that edge. So I actually lose a little bit of the material, which technically I'm not losing it because I can still go back and cut that later, but it just makes it more difficult because you, then you have a little bit on this side. See, that's as close as I can get to that edge. So that part kind of stinks. So now I'm gonna cut the other one. Let's go launch and cut plot CM4. What's up, Pilar? Didn't see you in here. And we, again, we got a force of 18, but I'm not going to cut this yet. Only reason why is I want to make sure that my pressure was good on this one. So I can see I'm peeling this up and my pressure is good. So now I can start this cut as I weed this cut. Look at... I don't know if you guys can see it good. Look at how easy this reflective weeds. Right? Let's 
freaking sweet. Where are we at numbers wise? We almost hitting 500 yet? So let's get my inside cavities out of my diamond here. Get my day. Updates on the new reflective colors. Um, Pilar, hopefully, hopefully the end of next week. And just to let you know, Pilar, we did we used the white reflective today. Don't have it in stock yet, but I think we have narrowed it down to which reflective we're going to go with after all the tests. All right, so good there. I'm just going to unlock this and just weed it from here. We do need, what are we at likes-wise? Are we close? I'm telling you guys, any of you here that have not used the reflective yet, especially for birthdays and bachelorette parties and weddings and everything. But honestly, I love it. I put it on all of my shirts, either brick or reflective. But you need, you need to try it because your customers will go nuts over it and you're going to be able to upsell it. So, hey, you can get your basic material or... You can get this sweet reflective material, and as soon as you show them the reflective material, normally they're like, yeah, I want that reflective material. Because everyday use, it, it looks like a regular material, right? But then as soon as it hits the sun, that's when you're just standing out and different than every other shirt around you. All right, good to go with that. Trim this little edge here. Let's do this. Flip around here. You guys can see good there on YouTube, Facebook. Let me get you a nice little view here. Let's rock and roll. So, going with... The black Bella. That looks amazing. Come down with a quick little pre-press. And got to get my scissors because I got to trim my silver, right? We might be out of, can somebody let me know? Are we already out of the silver reflective? Because I know we didn't have a ton of it. So I'm assuming with the live right here that I'm assuming, honestly, we're probably already out of it. Red and blue reflective, it's coming. So I'm lining up the best ever part of my design here, but the biggest thing I need to think of is remember, I have my diamond going on the top of it. So I need to make sure I leave room for that. Right? So, need to make sure my diamond isn't going to go into my collar there. So, I think that's a pretty good spot there. So, that looks good. Check the bottom. I got best ever. Left edge, right edge. Looking at my collar. Good to go. Checking my inside cavities. Good to go. Let's press this. And again, I'm doing my press a little bit less because I'm coming with a second color. So, peel this up. I can see my berry blast stayed on there perfect, even though I didn't go my full time and temperature. But now we're going to drop in our day right here in the middle. We're going to drop in our 
diamond at the top. Now, the reason why I'm trimming this right here, you guys are getting sideways there, aren't you, YouTube? The reason why I'm trimming this right here is I didn't want, for example, if it were like this and this went over this edge, you guys know how sometimes you'll get pressing lines, right? Sometimes you'll get pressing lines. Well, as long as the carrier sheet isn't covering any of your other ones, you won't get those lines. So we got the diamond at the top, we got the day right there, and then the January 2014. We're dropping right down here at the bottom to split between the hearts. And we are good to go. So I'm going to use a cover sheet again on this one because I'm going to have some exposed, right? So cover sheet on and come down for my full time and temperature. So if you're ever getting those lines, it's because your carrier sheet and, it, and it's biggest on those thinner materials where you normally have the biggest issue with that. All right. Pull this bad boy off here. Good to go here. And boom. Best day ever. So... Let's see, you guys ready to see what we're looking like? Let me get it back in there a little bit deeper. Let me get Facebook over here. Check this out. Best day ever. Boom. And again, this is in the daytime. This is with light hitting into the daytime. Look at how cool that looks. Imagine it at nighttime, right? With the light off, it's just a purple look, just a silver look. As soon as that light goes on, look at the difference of that. That's why I love this material so much. Sweet. And there we go. Best day ever. All right. Let me come over here, hold them up, show you guys what all we made. And then I will go through and show you the kind of different deals we got going on with it right now. So first thing we made, we got our best day ever shirt here. Pretty awesome. And you can see, even when light doesn't hit it, see how it has almost a reflective look. But my favorite part, and those of you who have used the reflective, is how super soft the reflective material is. It's like super, super soft. It has a super soft feel to it, right? <laughs> so, good to go with that. Then... We made Jackson's white reflective. White reflective not available yet on the site. Will be soon. Then we did Jackson's shorts, both sides, in the brick. So you'll see here, show Facebook first. This is the brick material, which has the thickness to it. And on YouTube there, so you guys can see kind of that 3D effect that you get on it. And then we made Matt's shirt, which is the BP logo in the brick as well. So Facebook, there you go. And just to let you know, I've probably already worn this shirt for a month, probably five, ten times. 
So it's not even a brand new shirt that I decorated here. But I kept wearing a white shirt, and I'm like, damn, this thing is so plain. i got to put something on it. And then I just kept wearing it, and then I'm finally, today's live, I said, it's time to put something on it. So there we go. There we go. All right, where are we at as far as likes-wise? We're at 477, 308 likes. We get to 500. I'm telling you guys, we get to 500. We're, the top winner is going to win five feet of Berry Blast Reflective, five feet of Gold Blast Reflective, and a mini pack. We already earned 15 more, 15 more by the time we finish our giveaways here. All right? All right, let's head back over to the screen here. Get a shirt that says best day ever. Chances are, right? But I guarantee you they are not going to get a shirt that says best day ever in reflective with the date of what the best day ever is, which is completely custom, right? And that's what you guys can sell to your customers. All right, so real quick here, I'm going to pop in and let's go to the website here. And before I, I am going to jinx myself right now, I'm going to jinx myself. I'm 100% sure I am, okay? But have you guys noticed anything different with the feed today other than me losing audio because the battery ran out? Are you guys, have I been freezing up as much as normal? Let me know because I can't tell. You guys have to tell me. Have I been freezing up as much as normal like we normally do? Because we got a lot of us here, right? Hasn't been as bad. So I did get, just to let you guys know, I did get the new computer. Okay, and I don't have it all perfectly set up yet, but it's a super, super fast computer. And here I will, um, what's the best way? Here, I'll show you with this camera. So, let me switch over real quick here. So, I don't have it all completely set up yet, but this is the computer here. And because I have the standing desk, I had to just set it on there for now. I actually ordered a piece to set it to the bottom of my desk here. So, because the problem is, is some of the wires aren't long enough. And as the desk moves up and down, the wires weren't long enough if it were sitting on the ground. But I'm super happy with it so far because I've noticed, I think, I've noticed that it hasn't been lagging as much. And I haven't seen you guys say that I'm frozen yet, so that's always a good sign as well. But it's, yes, I agree, Luma, but it's not giveaway time yet, and that's, that's normally freeze time, right? <laughs> yes, that's very true. That's very true. All right. Yeah, there's always a delay. That's just a YouTube thing. So here's the deal, guys. Here's the specials that we got going on today. As everybody knows, we are still running the social distance sale. So all of the vinyls that I used here today are still 10% off. All the signed vinyl are still 10% off, okay? I do need Berry Blast internet speed, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the problem is, is we live out in the boonies now, so they don't have Fios or any type of, so the quickest we can get is a 40 upload speed, which is miserable. That's where the computer is hopefully helping. So here's the deal. And I'll put, yeah, I'll put the computer on the products we love. I mean, it's a more expensive computer. It was a little over $2,000 for a desktop, but it's super fast too. So just to give you an idea, with every, I have Camtasia Studio, I have OBS, I have YouTube, I have all of this stuff running. Check this out. When I go to my task manager here and performance, I mean, I'm only running at about 7% right now and at 4.7 gig. 
So it's making a big difference. And this is where you guys can see it. Where I get to that, I right click, go to task manager, and then go to performance. And that's where you can kind of see your performance. All right, so 10% off, like I said. We scroll down, a few of you have been asking for the other dog packs, so we did release, uh-oh, someone made a mistake and listed it too inexpensive. Well then, so man's best friend pack five is $20, but pack four is $25. Well, then I guess we have to change it. Uh, my hat, yes, my hat, 643. Shortstop, second base, first baseman, 643 equals two, double play. So I'm going to go, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to go into man's best friend pack four. And I'm going to put that at $20 as well. Boom. Save it. Refresh. And let's see. It should refresh on your screen. Let me know if it did. Let me know if Mini Pack 4 refreshed on your screen to $20. Yeah, the three up, three down shirt's sure sweet too, isn't it? Is it showing $20 for you guys? Four and five, yes. Pack four and five. <clears throat> yes, okay, now it is. Awesome. Sweet, good to go. Had to hit refresh, perfect. All right, so here's the deal then. Here's the deal. What we're going to do is, let me... Close down Cutting Master here. What we're going to do is we're going to pick our winners, okay? And we, we didn't quite get to the 500, did we? And then we went down. Event packs, $87 now with the 65% off. Yes. So, just earlier, I did it, what, an hour ago? <clears throat> An hour ago, three up, three down is three batters up, three batters out. So the mini pack four, five, both twenty dollars. Um, which dogs are in those packs? Let me show you real quick. This one has the Shih Tzu. The oh, it has some of the different dogs as well. So we have the oh Labradoodle as well. Nice. So these are some of the kind of the off breeds that a lot of you guys were asking for. Not off breeds, but ones that we didn't have before, possibly. So these are all for the man's best friend one. And then we also just released the Your Biggest Fan shirt and decal pack. And then Pack five actually does have, I think someone was just asking for a Doberman. And pack five has the Do Doberman as well. Right here. And a Corgi, Shih Tzu, Pomeranian, Sheepdog, Labradoodle. So those will go up. Those will go up $5 tomorrow morning. Okay, they'll go up to 25. Got it? And then what the big one is that I had said, if you just scroll down a little bit, let's see where it went. Right here. The event pack 
I took $100 off of the event pack just for today. So the one that I made the best day ever shirt out of, I took $100 off of that pack just for today, and then you also get the 65% off. Okay? So this pack will go back to $350 tomorrow. Just because I used it in the live, I went crazy. And if you click on it, you can see here all the different designs that are in the pack as well and flip through them all. Got it? Yes, the event pack is a, is a crazy pack. Like it's a super popular pack because it's got something that's going on all year long, right? Whether it's weddings, whether it's anniversaries, whether it's vacations, whatever it is, okay? And then the only other thing is everybody here knows about our design a day giveaway, right? So... Got your coffee design here. You got the magical beauty unicorn. And this llama loves his mama. These are all completely free. Is there anybody that's brand new here today that hasn't been getting the free designs every day? Anybody, even you on Facebook, anybody that here that hasn't been getting the free designs every day? You better be getting them. Every day. The entire month, we're giving away a free design. So we got a llama, a unicorn, and coffee. Who doesn't use those all the time, right? Are the dogs in the mini pack different than the full pack? Yes, Carol. All of these dogs are brand new dogs. They aren't even in a full pack yet. So the dogs in these designs are not the peak pack dogs. These are completely brand new dogs. Yes. Sweet. All right, let's do some giveaways, and then I'll answer some questions at the end, okay? All right, I'm going to bring you guys over here. So we have three mini pack giveaways, three mini pack giveaways, and then we have five feet of Berry Blast Reflective and another mini pack. Those are our giveaways for today, all right? So... Let's go, close that down, and let's do this. Here we go. So for the three mini packs for the likes, I'm going to make it super easy. I'm just going to highlight the top name and then the two names under that, all three of them, those are the three mini packs, okay? So, I'm going to highlight top name, that person plus the two names under them. Each get a mini pack, and those are our three mini pack giveaways. Remember the no spam rule. If I see your name more than twice, that's spamming, and then you are disqualified from that prize. So, our winner for the mini packs, the three names for the mini packs, highlighting the name now, and we got, boom, right here. I got Tiffany, Lafayette, and Jaylene. Is that right? Tiffany, Lafayette, and Jaylene. Those are our three mini pack winners of choice. Let me take a picture real quick so I can get those to the call center. Boom. Good to go. Tiffany, Lafayette, and Jaylene. You guys got yourself a mini pack of choice. Now... For this giveaway and this winner, top name highlighted with your next order that requires shipping, you're going to get five feet of the Berry Blast, which is what we used in the shirt right here, the Berry Blast Reflective. You'll get five feet of that for free, and you'll also get a mini pack of choice. You guys ready? And this is just one winner. The winner for the five feet of Berry Blast and a mini pack of choice. Only the top name highlighted. And that winner is going to be five, four, three, two, one, and go. 
this person right here. I got Betty Longden. Betty Longden, Betty, congratulations. You got yourself five feet of berry blast, reflective heat transfer vinyl, and a mini pack of choice. Betty, congratulations. All right, I'm going to flip back around here, YouTube or Facebook. I'm going to flip you guys back around as well and hang out here for about 15 minutes or so, answer some questions that you guys have. Anybody that has any questions about the different deals that we have going on, any of the questions as far as the different things that we made here today, remember I have my training tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And Nicole, same thing, Nicole. Next order that requires shipping, just let them know the best day ever shirt, Nicole, and they'll put that in your order that requires shipping as well, okay? Yes, so YouTube, Facebook, I'm on here for you guys to see, but when we do these giveaways, it's based off of the amount of people on YouTube. That's correct. So, Lori, make sure to go subscribe to the YouTube channel because every Monday we do a Cameo 4 giveaway at 8 p.m. from 8 to 9.30-ish, and then Thursdays at noon, then we do another. So Facebook, I basically just come on here to let you guys know that we're on YouTube. Um, to claim to claim the um, mini pack giveaways, all you do is just email info at the rhinestoneworld.com. No problem, Lori. No problem. Now you know. Good, good. Now you know. And so Lori, just know Lori's on Facebook. Lori, just so you know in the future, we'll let you know kind of where we're doing the giveaway. Sometimes we do giveaways on Facebook as well, but and then YouTubers don't get it. But mainly on YouTube is where most of them are, especially for the Cameo 4. Um, but info at the rhinestoneworld.com, let them know what mini pack you want. They're, they'll verify with me that you are a mini pack winner and you're good to go. All designs, correct. All the designs that you purchase from us are for commercial use. They can be used to make the finished product. You just can't sell the designs. Yes, that entire, of I'm telling you guys, and everybody that's here that has been with us for a long time, they know this event pack, it will go. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm being honest with you. It's not just, a, oh, they discount it like this all the time. Like, I know for a fact nobody here has ever gotten this, um, event pack, $100 off plus 65% off of that. Awesome, Lori. Awesome. Glad. Thanks for coming by and thanks for watching. And Lori, go grab all those free files. So we do a brand new free SVG file each day the entire month of May. They just, they, they expire after 24 hours, Lori, so just make sure to go get them. They're free. You don't have to buy anything. Um, can you put glitter on brick? Sure, Jay. I mean, we put reflective on brick, so it shouldn't be a problem. Is bling anything needed for a decal? Does it enhance it? Or No, bling anything is needed for a heat transfer vinyl decal, Karen. So think of your heat transfer vinyl. It has an adhesive on the back to press to your shirt. If you want to make that heat transfer vinyl into a sticker, that's what the bling any. Think of the bling anything as your shirt. You're pressing it to the bling anything to make a sticker. Uh, Matt, can designs from the TRW Design Wizard be saved as a PNG? Yeah, Evelyn, super simple. All you're going to do is when you're within the wizard, okay, or like, for example, I'll show you guys here. Can you stack reflective on reflective? I've tested it, and I've, I've done about 10 washes, and it's been fine. I am going to do some more testing on that, though. But just to show you whoever was, was it Evelyn who was asking the question? Yeah, Evelyn. So with this design here, if I wanted to throw this onto a shirt, let's say, and let's say that's a little bit lighter. Let's say we're going to use a light pink. Highlight my design. I go to mock-ups, and I throw it onto the burnout shirt. Now, once this is on the burnout shirt, we want it to be on a black shirt, so I'm going to change my shirt to a black shirt. 
and then there's my design. Now, if I wanted to bring that out as a PNG file, all I do is I just go to export and I export as a PNG. Super easy. And then, and then it'll have that transparent background so you can't see it at all. Make sense? Um, the three up, three down, this isn't my design. This is actually from Baseballism. It's a store. There's, there's a few of them around. Can we rework the D? Oh, man. Daniel, to change one word would literally be probably a 10 to 15 hour job. I mean, change one letter because those are all coded into it. But what is it doing? Mainly the left. Yeah, the left one probably because if it's a home plate, it's kind of forming with it. So some of the letters do look a little bit different, obviously because of the shape of it. Uh, did I see it right in one of your other videos? You can use bling anything over the top of a design for mugs. Um, no, what you're going to do, what, what you're asking there, and Jay Willett, what is it? Is it Jay? Um, just to show you what you're asking there is this is one. Let me see if I have a decal here as well. So bling anything, this is done with bling anything, okay? So the heat transfer vinyl was pressed to the bling anything to make a sticker for the mug, and now this is dishwasher safe. Bling anything also makes your rhinestone car decals. So I pressed the rhinestones to the bling anything, and now this is a rhinestone sticker that I can put on the back window of a car. So the bling anything can be used with heat transfer vinyl or rhinestones or both where it's heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones. Got it? Karen, oh yes. So just to give you guys a little update. What were th the training series that we've been doing for the last eight weeks? I want to do mugs that are dishwasher safe. So, yes, Jay, that is this. So, bling anything with heat transfer vinyl like glitter or rhinestones, and then it's dishwasher safe. You do it, the, the mug never touches the press. So, just like we made this, so. I'm not, I think you were here earlier, right? When we made this decal earlier, this is now a sticker, okay? So when I come over here, let's see if I got nails to be able to pull it off here. This is a sticker, and when we pull this off, there we go. I could now, I can attach this to my mug right here, and now I have a mug that's dishwasher safe. So the bling anything is underneath, which gives the adhesive on the back, which turns this into a sticker, even though it's heat transfer vinyl. Does that make sense? So your mug never touches the heat. You don't need a mug press or anything. You got it, no problem. Once the design is cut, can it be changed and recut to a different letters? Once a design is cut, can it be? Yeah, well, Mary, just within the software, you can change it to whatever you want. Under the HTV, yes. Sweet, I need to get it. And the, the bling anything is 10% off right now as well. Yes. Yes, the event pack that I was showing you, that will go back, this 250 will go back to 350 tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, this will be $350 again. Still worth it with the 65% off, but you'll save a lot more money today. What other questions we got? 
Um, Tammy, we are we are starting to work on some of those. So a neutral neutral ear Great Dane. So what is the Great Dane that we have now? Like I know some of them have like the snipped ears versus non-snipped ears, and I'm not sure with all the terminology on all of that stuff. But just let us know kind of what you're looking for. Sorry, Tammy, I had Facebook down here, so I couldn't see any questions. Awesome, Karen. Is the red foil out? I'm not sure. I, I'm sure we probably have it ordered. So yes, thanks, Pilar. Did you? Why didn't you squirrel me, Pilar? So what I was talking about with the training, what I was talking about with the training is um, cropped is in packs now. Okay, so you want uncropped. Gotcha, Tammy. Um, so what I was talking about with the training is. We've done beginner training, right? We did a beginner training in week four, but a lot, we've had a ton of requests of people saying, hey, can you, can you redo the beginner training and build it up again like you did? I know we can go get the replay, but I really want to go through the whole thing of the live as well. So here's what our plan is, just to let you guys know. Our plan is to next week, for the training series, we're not going to do a training series next week because we're going to almost even do something better. So I know we have a ton of newbies with the wizard as well, just getting started. Or you've had the wizard for a while and you're starting to learn it. So here's what we're going to do. Next week, I'm going to have my Monday Live that we always have. I'm going to have my Thursday Live that we always have, okay? And then Sean is going to do probably two different wizard overviews okay just kind of showing you everything that the wizard can do but it's going to be free so any of you that are looking into getting the software and want to kind of see what it does those are going to be free trainings to um not tomorrow next week all right and i'm not sure the exact dates yet we're trying to figure it out so next week we aren't going to have a training series because we're going to have the two free wizard overviews. And then the following week, we're going to get back into almost kind of going through what we just did in this last series. Okay? So, basics in Corel Draw, basics in the tools in Corel, like start super basic and work our way up again. Right? So that we've been getting a ton of requests for that. So that's the plan is kind of, even though you can still, again, go back and get the older ones, a lot of people are saying, man, I really want the live. I really want to be able to ask questions and so on. So that's what we're going to do. What else we got? Awesome, R1J1. So, and especially... Those of you who don't have the Wizard and Corel yet, pay attention to when those free ones are next week. We'll probably do two of them because that's what's going to show you everything the Wizard can do, right? And then you can kind of decide, oh, man, this is so worth it. Boom, let's go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where are we at? Did I miss a question in here? If I'm, any of you that are newer, if I miss your question, um, just keep asking. Just keep, just keep asking. And then any of you who came in later, as soon as I finish up here, you'll be able to go back and re-watch it. Um, Peggy, shoot a, um, get in so they can get into your computer and see. Um, the wizard is separate from Corel, but we actually have a crazy bundle pack going through the end of the month. So basically what we did is we did what's our best trade show special we ever do for the entire month. Okay. So does the graph deck only show the cutter width or is there a way to show the media width? Um, your pool, Irv, Irv, if you give a call. Um, they can probably log in and set it up for you. 
because it's different with every cutter and depending on which, but um, what you're looking for, Irv, is when you're in Cutting Master, there's a little question mark up near the top. That's where it'll show your actual media width. So yes, it does do it. Why is Training 8 showing only one upload? Um, Deborah, it should be showing two. It should be showing Monday and Tuesday's classes. But there weren't, the first three days were just tools. Today, I'm going to be doing designs. Yes, Valerie, you still need, so it's not compatible with Illustrator. So you do need Corel and the Wizard. And let me show you guys where that. So normally, that's what this is right here. We never discount the wizard, but what we will do at times is discount the Corel Draw side of it. So normally this bundle is, I think, $959. Right now, the wizard Corel bundle is $769. And again, you can, do, you can use Klarna for a payment plan. So pay as low as $80 a month. You can use PayPal credit for six months interest free. So there's all types of different things you can do as far as payment plans with it as well, right on the website. And those of you who were at last night's class with Sean, I'm not sure if you saw on Facebook, about 45 minutes into the class, I think he said it was, he got the blue screen of death and completely shut down. Then it went through about an hour of updates. So he couldn't even get on to tell you guys, so he actually ended up getting on his phone to do it. But he, is re he rescheduled that for Saturday. So the only thing you guys are doing is basically you got an extra 45 minutes last night. So he's going to do that training again on Saturday. So you'll have tonight, 6 to 8. Tomorrow, 1 to 3, and then did he put out a time for Saturday's training yet, guys? Let me know if he did post it already. Dale, we still have some time. Everything kind of went on the back burner with it, with all this crazy stuff. The plan is 6.0. Once it gets released, will still, the plan is it'll still work with the 8. I love it. Uh, all I use is Corel 8, so that's my goal, Peggy. Um, Lafayette, Matt, the event pack is discounting the 250. Yes, that's what it should be doing. So it was 350. I took a hundred hundred dollars off, so it brought it down to 250 for the event pack. I'll show you. So. The event pack right here was $350. I took $100 off it. So then when you put it into your shopping cart, it knocks another $162.50 off of that price. So then it's $87.50 for the entire pack. He has it set for 11 a.m. Awesome. I'm hoping we can keep Corel X7 to work. Connie, you guys know, my goal is it to, for it to stay working with as many versions of Corel as we can because I don't want you to have to. Um, I still have Corel. So, Tammy, you would have to up for the 5.0 wizard. It works with Corel X7 and above. So, with that pack that I was just showing you, the 769, that comes with Corel Draw 2018 and the Wizard 5.0. Just the Wizard 5.0 is 569, so the Corel portion of it's only $200. Matt, that's a great, great question, Matt. So here's what we do with the um, upgrades. So with upgrades, no matter whoever buys the software, the Wizard, everybody will always pay the same price. And here's what I mean by that. So, if I were to go to software and the wizard, okay, the wizard alone is $569. The 4.0 was $469. So 
Anybody that wanted to upgrade from the 4.0 to the 5.0 to get all of those new features, if they wanted them, just paid the $100 difference. And then anybody who gets the 5.0, so at the end of the day, anybody here that owns the wizard that has the 5.0, every single person here has paid $569.99. Whether they did it through small upgrades as they built with the software or whether they just bought it today. And we do that to try to be fair to all of you guys. I hate it when companies just discount, they overprice it, discount it 300 bucks, and then the next day someone else buys it at the overpriced $800 price. And you don't have to upgrade either, which is awesome. So if you say, hey, I don't need those features, you can stick with your 4.0 or 5.0, whatever it is. So those of you who have the 5.0, 6.0 comes out, you're like, ah, I'm good with the 5.0. We still support it. Awesome. What else we got? And that's the thing. Most companies make you upgrade, right? You pay $569.99, you just want to use the 5.0 for the next 10 years, have at it. Oh, there are. We have a couple users still in 2. Point, Wizard 2.0. We still have a couple users in the 3.0, the 4.0, and they'll call in for support and we're still going to we're still going to help them because you paid money for that. You get support for it. Su Suzanne, I don't have I had a timeline for the 6.0, but I don't right now because everything that's been crazy going on and we've been trying to focus on all of these other things with the craziness that a lot of the, my programmers, I've, we, I've had to have them doing other stuff for the website and other stuff for these training and all these other things to basically do what we need to do during these times. So as things are starting to get back to a little bit of normalcy, then I'm starting to get them to be able to do more. Because, I mean, I know you guys didn't really notice it, but they're, and we're, we're starting to get them back now. But we, we normally have 25 to 30 employees. And for a little while there, because we didn't have a clue what was going on, we only had about 12 of us working for a couple weeks. And you guys didn't really see that or know that, which was good because you didn't. we still wanted to provide support and everything. But again, like all of you guys, it's a matter of trying to, trying to survive, right? So that's where we've had to make those adjustments to be able to do that. And everything's starting to get back. So now we're back to full staff and everything, which is awesome. Yeah, Florida's trying to open up with everything, which is awesome. Our governor the other day said, any, any uh, professional teams, if your state won't let you play, come play in Florida. Is Trail Draw 28 upgradable that comes with your combo pack? Um, Julie, that is an OEM version, so it's not upgradable, okay? But... Upgrades normally cost $200, and we, as we grow, here's the thing is I recommend that you don't upgrade. If you can still use it with the wizard, as you can see, let me flip over here real quick, like Corel 2020 just came out. I'm using X8. So X8, then there's 2017, then there's 2018, then there's 2019, then there's 2020, Okay. That means I'm, me right here with you guys, I'm using a five-year-old version of CorelDRAW. And I have no intention of even putting the newer version to use, right? I have a newer version on here just to answer questions as people have it. But I do that on purpose because don't you think I, if I couldn't do some stuff in Corel X8 that I would upgrade my Corel? to show you the wizard do its best. 
That's the whole point of the wizard. So 2018, you're probably going to be able to use that with the wizard for the next three, four, five, five years. You don't need to go get 2020. You just need the wizard to be able to do all its stuff, right? That's the goal. All right, yes. So I saw somebody asking as far as, I'll show you real quick. So with the sale that's going on, the wizard is seven sixty nine. So the wizard's five sixty nine ninety nine, and then the Corel twenty eighteen is two hundred dollars. That's the bundle pack. All right. The social distance sale is completely different. What this is, it is the um, you got the wizard. You got twenty five percent off Korean stones, twenty five percent off studs, ten percent off diamond cut stones which we're getting more colors in on the diamond cut stones. You guys have been requesting it. We got some more colors coming in here really soon. $10 off each roll of Magic Flock, 10% off supplies, 10% off all vinyls, heat transfer vinyls and signed vinyls, and 10% off vinyl and foil supplies and accessories. And then your daily designs. First order from us, supposed to be here tomorrow. I'm super excited for you, Lindsay. Thank you. We appreciate your support. Twinkle back in stock, not yet. Still waiting. Still waiting. I hope soon. No, no update in the wizard yet, Maria. You do have, Paula, yes, you do need Corel Draw with the wizard. The wizard is working within Corel Draw, correct. Oh, Julie, I see what you're saying. So if you already have, then you're fine, Julie. Then you don't need the Corel Draw side of it, Julie. You just need the 569 Wizard and use it with your Corel that you already have because our Wizard will always work with the newest versions. So the Wizard works with Corel 2020. And when Corel 21 comes out, it'll work with Corel 20, 2021 before you can even get it. Like, we have it working with Corel before it even releases. Soon, Patrice. Thanks, Matt. You the man. We're at 5.11, yes. All right, I got to start getting ready for tonight's training, training series eight. We're going to be doing some designs, and I'm going to show you guys also one of the designs we're going to be working on tonight. I'm going to show you how to do, because everybody's been asking me, how to do the interlocking letters is going to be one of the designs that we're going to do in tonight's training as well. All right. Um, specific vendor, I just, Nancy, I just got it at Target. It was actually that white one that I did. It was in like that little dollar, two dollar section in Target when I got it. Awesome, Connie. Thank you. Another TRW double header, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I right, Hey, I appreciate all of you guys. Facebook, appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys later, Facebook. YouTube, you guys are amazing. Appreciate all of you. We had, we came close to 500. We had 400 and what did we get? Like 480, 485, right? So blank license plates, again, haven't looked because I just used um, a raise license plate for the one that I did the other day. But sublimation places will have blank license plates as well. Training series has been so awesome. I'm going to have withdrawals next week. We'll be back at it, Barb. But you got a couple free ones next week as well. Hi, right, crew. Appreciate all of you guys. I will see a lot of you at 6 p.m. tonight. And again, I'm going to be using the new computer system tonight. So hopefully all goes well, especially after Sean's last night, right? We can't have two days in a row of that. But appreciate all of you guys. Congratulations to our winners. Congratulations to our winners for tonight. And I will see you guys Monday. If not, I'll see you Monday and probably this weekend for some live as well. All right, crew. Let's see if I can get this. Appreciate all of you guys. We'll see you soon. Later.